Good morning everybody. We have a new product to uh, do a product review on for you. This is from EcoFlow and it is the Delta 2. Not the 1, the 2. This is like an updated, upgraded version. Are you ready for this? Let's get this baby out. There it is. How exciting is that? What do you think? Brilliant. The size I'm thinking is going to be perfect for where I'm thinking it's going to go. Where yeah, it's going to live, we need that. Which we will go into <laughs> in more detail soon. So what else is in the box? Mm. So how powerful is this? Oh, we'll go into all that. Oh, we'll okay. We'll go into all that. Okay. <laughs> um, instruction book. And that's it. Simple. Simple. <laughs> Let's get in here, see what comes with it. Should have brought a knife out, shouldn't I? Power lead. Not sure what that's for. Not yet. It's one of them connectors, you know, just a straightforward thing to thing. That might be when you joining two of these together, which you can I was going to say, they're two female uh, like DC connectors, yeah. aren't they? And then you've got this cigarette lighter um, connector as well. So, th very simple. Three and a charging lead. <laughs> charging lead. Yeah. Now, what I have noticed, the one, the companies who do these where you don't have a big box on them, you know, the power boxes, the ones without them boxes charge faster. And this is no exception. This is probably the fastest charging power bank, certainly fastest charging power bank company there is. Um, I'm going to go into that as well. The Delta 1 would charge very, very quickly. The Delta 2, they've upgraded it, so it's incredibly fast to charge. So, let's have a close look. Would you like to come down here, Mazzy? Yep. We'll show them around. So, a nice flat top to start with. Loving it. We always like that, didn't we? We certainly do. I like the thinness. That's what I'm excited about, because I'm hoping this is going to fit in the gap we want it to fit into. Yep. Um, nothing on that side, just a couple of air vents. Just a port on this side. This is for your extra battery. Right? And to connect two together. To connect two together. So you can buy an extension to this to make it twice as powerful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on one side, I don't even know if there's any power in it. I haven't checked. Looks like I might. Oh, there is power. Okay, it's on 31%. Yep, it's hard to see that, but yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so there's your display. On-off button, USBs. So you've got USB-C 100 watts. You've got two of them. You didn't have that with the Delta 1. I believe that's a new thing. You've got two fast-charging USBs and two USB-As. Excellent. Turn him around. So you have got four plug sockets on off for the AC, a 12 volt for your cigarette lighter at the bottom, T to use that obviously you're turning it on that, and what's this, solar car input, extreme charge, extreme charge Mazzy, and overload protection, there we go, so we will go into that in more detail as we look at it properly. So that is it. Now, I know for a fact a lot of these companies don't like it when you compare them to other companies' products. But I do know EcoFlow don't mind because they're so proud of what they've got. They don't care if it's uh, compared. So I'm going to get the jackery out, okay? <laughs> the jackery. This is what we've been using a lot in the past. Now, when this came out, what is it, two years ago? Maybe three even? Yeah. Um, they just saturated the market. People stopped calling them power stations. They were calling them jackeries. Um, but then, are they that good? Are they really that good? I don't think they are. Firstly, the handle. It's outdated. It's very outdated. Yeah. Very outdated. If we want to charge this, we have to put it on at night and leave it overnight 
I don't know exactly how many hours, but I'd guess at 12 I, hours. I was going to say maybe 24, getting up, but maybe not quite that. No, I don't no, know. 12 to 24 hours to yeah. charge this. It's a slow charging one. This is one where the power lead has actually got a box on it. Yeah. So that's annoying. Once it's dead, you're having to wait a long time to be able to use it again. The handle there is annoying because you can't rest anything on top of it. I think the company knows that that's a massive fault because we're not the only people that's picked up on that handle, are no, we? No. <laughs> These are a similar um, power, about a thousand watts, but we'll go into that in more detail in a minute. Um, but as you can see, look at the thickness difference. That is so much thicker than that. So this doesn't fit anywhere where we want it to fit in our motorhome. This, I think, will. Um, and that's only got two plugs on. This one, how many did we say? Four. Yeah. It's still good. It's done the job. It's done the job, but yeah. it's out of date. There's so much Very out of date. on yeah. the market now. Yeah. So people, please, when people are talking about power stations, don't call them jackeries. Okay, call them power stations because there's much better than that on the market. That's our new baby. So let's take this inside and I'll go into some of the specs and tell you why this is so good. So I'm going to try and run through a few specs and some of these are really, really impressive. To start with, it has a 1024 watt hour battery capacity in it. Okay, but this isn't a thousand watt portable power station. This will do 1,800 watts. Oh, wow. Right. So we're getting on to the big ones. You know the big ones we've done, Mazza? Yeah. The very heavy ones. 1,800 watts this so will So this do. is more powerful than the Jackery? Yes. By 800 watts? Yes. For the size of that now? But hang That's on a good. moment. Right, right, yeah. There's more. <laughs> yeah. You're impressed, aren't you? Yeah, I actually am, yeah. Um, oh, where did I just read it? Um, it's got EcoFlow X Boost technology, which means you could actually use something up to 2,200 watts in this. So from now on, Mazzy, you are going to be able to run your hairdryer on this without any problems. Really? Really. Oh, okay, that's good. Toaster? Now, toaster, probably. Well, obviously, because the Jackery does my toaster. Yes, yes. Now, yep. what you've noticed in the past is putting your hair straight into the Jackery. It whirs, doesn't it? It, it really whirs. struggles. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Won't with this. <laughs> it won't with this. Far more powerful. So, yes, the for, for 2,200 watts with the boost, right, these would normally be this big. Yeah. And they're, yeah. they're about 24 kilograms yeah. from memory. This is about 10 kilograms, 10, Ooh. 11 kilograms. Okay. It's lighter than the Delta One. So they've mm. made it even lighter, but with a stronger output. That's brilliant. Really yeah. impressed. So they're actually improving, improving every year, yes. every time they come out of a new product, that's whereas why, some why, others don't. <laughs> that's why it's called a Delta Two. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> and coming up, guys, by the way, this we have been sent this for free. We haven't been paid to do this review. Um, but it has been sent to us for free to do a product review by EcoFlow. Thank you, EcoFlow. Shall we get on to the charging time? Yeah. <laughs> How long do you think it should take? Well, comparing it to others, which maybe I shouldn't be, 12 hours. Let's go on 12, 10. Let's say 10. Let, let me be generous. 10 hours. Okay. Well, what they are saying is with their extreme technology. Yeah. It will do seven times faster than other power stations on the market. It will charge from zero to 80% in 50 minutes. Wow. 50 minutes. Wow. It will charge to 100% in 80 minutes. That's a big bonus, isn't it? That is massive. For people like us on the road and stuff, that's, I mean... Massive. That's massive, yeah, brilliant. Because there are many times when it does get to zero and you've run out of power and you're stuck. Yeah. Now yeah. you know you've only got to wait 50 minutes and it's nearly fully charged again. Yeah. On top of that, there's something incredible about it. Yeah. I think, I'm hoping I've got this right, I read it the other day. You can recharge this 3,000 times. Yeah. Right? 
the battery is capable of being recharged 3,000 times. Let's put that into perspective. The Jackaroo we've got down there is 500 times. Oh, wow. So six times more. So that's what you're trying to say. That's the life of the... The life of the machine. The machine, yeah. That's brilliant then. So yeah. if we charge this from zero to 100% every day for almost 10 years... Yeah. That's when it had run out. What, in 10 years? At the very earliest. Yeah. And there is no way on this earth you are going to be charging this every day. You'll probably do it once a week. Yeah. So this, in my opinion, should last a lifetime. Yeah. And and it's still going to work after the 10 years anyway, isn't it? It's yeah. just not going to be as powerful, I'm guessing. It loses well, a bit of charge or something. That's what it's trying to say. Never <laughs> run one down. No. Much, <laughs> 3,000 times. This should easily last 20 years. No. So you've got your money's worth years. there straight away, haven't you? Definitely. Haven't got to worry about buying another one, so to say. Definitely. Yeah. It's just these little upgrades I'm really impressed yeah. with. Yeah. And then again, as I said, it's now got USB um, C 100 watts and two fast charging USBs. Yeah. Which is fantastic because nowadays there are a lot of cables out there. I think I've got one down here I've been using. A lot of them now are just USB-C to USB-C. Yeah, yeah. They're not putting a, a USB on the other end. So straight into there, straight into there. In fact, let's see how fast it says it will charge the phone, has it? Yeah. Uh, let's good test. Turn him on. Uh, we'll put him in there. We shall put him in my phone. Charging. How do we find out how long it's going to take? One hour, one minute to fully charge my phone, which is quite low at the moment, 30%. Let's try it on the fast charge. Oh, no, we can't with that lead, can we? Um, let's just try it on the fast charge. So what was it, one hour? One hour. I, I don't think you finished talking. <laughs> it was over an hour, anyway. Let's try it with this fast charge. One hour, five minutes until fully charged. Let's try it on the normal. One hour, 30 minutes. So, I think that's the fastest, isn't it? The fast charge. Bear in mind, this is um, just running your old cable. If you had your proper yeah. phone cable now, that's, that's got, you know, your fast charging cables. Yes. <laughs> you yeah. know, it works better, obviously, so. But that is impressive. It's yeah. nice to have fast charging. So, so far, I'm just over the moon with this baby. It's very stylish, isn't he? I um, like him. I really need to know if he's going to fit in our little gap. Mm-hmm. Let's try this. Perfect. Check that out. <laughs> That's exactly where we want him to live. Yes. Behind the seat, out of the way. But you can still use it, yes. But we can still use it. Which, we need something there, because when we're at the table with your laptops, we need that. We don't have close enough plugs do we I'm buzzing the only That's one brilliant. the only one we could fit in there before was this very small one yeah which is not very powerful at all yeah so to be able to have that in there instead is brilliant compared to i'm sorry to have to keep coming back to this one but that won't fit in there so every day we have to have it down here near our feet and it just gets in the way it does yeah yeah <laughs> So just running you through a few things which I've touched on already. It's got an expandable capacity, one to three kilowatts per hour, which basically means you can attach extra batteries to this, up to two more. So um, if you add two, it will reach 2,048 watt hour. If you added another one, a third one, 3,040 watt hour. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> just in case I didn't explain it very well, it's got a 1,800 watt AC output, which means you can power more than 90% of home appliances. I would say the only thing this isn't going to power for us is the microwave. Yeah. Which our microwave is a very powerful one. We need to get a lower wattage one anyway, we know that. Um, but that's the only thing this won't power for us. And it will, you can plug in up to 13 devices at once. 13 devices, Mazzy. I don't think we've got 13 mm -hmm. devices. No. <laughs>
And in case I didn't explain this bit very well, the X-Boost technology prevents overloading from devices up to 2,400 watts. Okay, so it's a 1,800 watt machine, but it will prevent overload up to 2,400 watts. As usual, you can power this with solar panels. Um, up to, if you plugged in 500 watts, that's the maximum I think you can plug into this, 500 watts it will charge in three hours. Mmm, that's pretty good too. Um, most people will only have like a 100 watt panel or 200 watts, or they might even use the ones on the roof, they might have 500 watts, but for us, we generally run it off one or two, wouldn't we? Yeah, one yeah. One or 200. So how long that would take, I, I don't know without doing proper tests on it. But nice to know you can go green, save electric, especially in this um, fuel cri these fuel crisis times. Mm. Um, save on your electricity bills. Yeah. Run your solar panels on them. Well, you could run anything on this as well. You think, right? Let's just say at a guess you charge this up in your house. Yes. For how long do you get an eighty percent? You get nearly a full charge in an hour. Probably cost you what on your electric bill. I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea. But let's say a pound. And then you compare that then to using electrical goods in your house, let's say pl uh, lamps and kettles and stuff. Yes. You can use that then to uh, charge your kettles and stuff for an, uh, a lot more longer and it's going to cost you cheaper. I see what you're saying. If, yeah. if that makes sense, it's hard so to... So to run your appliances off this... It's going to be cheaper. It's probably going to be cheaper... Because it only takes... I, I don't know how it works, Mazzy, I'll be honest. Um, because this only takes 50 minutes to get to 80%, yeah. what you're saying, and that will power things for days, probably. Yeah, yeah. You're probably better off doing that than plugging all your appliances into your house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, you I think, don't know. You uh, how much a kettle would cost to run in somebody's household every day? But you could use it. This will probably last you days... For the, just the one quick charge. You know, when these first came out, these power stations, the only people who were really interested in them were people like us who live in a motorhome, uh, they're out in camper vans, they're out on the road, they're going out into the wild, they need power. Tent Tenters. Tenters, people in tents. Yeah. Pe you know, anyone just going out in any, anywhere off grid, basically. But it's coming to the stage now where power is so expensive... Yeah. People are actually getting these and running them off solar panel power. Yeah. You'll get your money back in no time. You've yeah. actually got me onto some. If we had a house, which we haven't, yeah, that's what we'd be doing. So one extra thing that I quite often see people asking, mm. well, why do motorhomers need this? You know, if you're on campsites every night, why do you need this? I mean, for us, it's an obvious, isn't it? It's um, basically, we only have two plugs there. So we need excess plugs down there, don't we? To have extra plugs is one yep. plus for us, yeah. And in the bedroom and places like that. But also on campsites, the wattage actually on your plugs isn't as strong as you think, is it? It's the amps. The amps, sorry. It's not as strong as you think. Our toaster, for example, blows all the electrics... On the whole on a site. Campsite, on a campsite. Yeah. So we can't use it. We can only use it in these. In this, yeah. Um... And, you know, petrol generators, as good as they are, they're very noisy. You can't use them on campsites. No, no. Um, they wouldn't allow that, I don't imagine. No. which is why people are moving over to these. Yeah. So another little feature I forgot to add, which I've always liked about the EcoFlow, is it tells you how many hours left of power you've got. Yeah. So, for example, if I just plug this in now on fast charge, charging my phone up, Is it charging? No, it's not charging. Hang on. <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> it will show the... There we go. So the output, it's taking 13 watts. That will charge my phone for nine hours. Solidly. And as we know, that will only take... An hour. An hour an to hour. charge. So yeah. it will charge that nine times from flat. Ten times. It's all over the place, actually. <laughs> Maybe it needs to settle. It takes time to settle down. Yeah. But that's only 30%, you see. So it will actually do that 35 times. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. We are going to be doing a few tests on it, as we always do. It makes the video a little bit more exciting for you. 
Um, but before we do, it does come with an app as well. Ooh. You like your apps, don't I you? I love my apps. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not going to go into too many details with the app, but I've just created an account. It's opened it. It paired with the machine automatically. I didn't have to press any buttons on the machine. Um, and it's telling you how much available time you've got left. You can go into settings. You can change the charging speed. Um, X boost, you can turn it on and off. You can make it bleep on there, or you can turn the bleep off. <laughs> you can do anything on there. So you can run this from an app if that's how you wish to do it. I've never used the apps, I'll be honest with you, but it's a nice added feature. Right, let's do some tests on it, Mazzy. <laughs> this is what our van always looks like. <laughs> yeah, it can do, yeah. <laughs> right, so let's plug some things in and just see what happens. So it's on 30% at the moment, you've got to remember that. It's not fully charged. And that's how it came in the box, we haven't uh, charged it at all. No. So let's just put your headband in there, Mazzy, let's see what yep. wattage. That's my headphones. Headphones, it's not even using a watt, Mazzy. Wow, and it is actually working, it's on. Okay, so that's very low voltage. Yeah. <laughs> Let's plug in your My iPhone. Phone. Yep. We'll put that in a fast charging. Come it's charging? On. Maybe it's charging. Why is it showing no watts going out? Maybe it's really low. Oh, two, it's going up now. Ah. Two watts. Six watts, seven watts, that's it. Oh, it just takes time. So USB-C to USB-C, let's charge my Samsung Galaxy up. So we've got three devices in now, we're just up to 19 watts output, not a lot. Your phone seems to ta have taken more than mine, that's peculiar, uh, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> yes. It's interesting. Uh, this is a capture window washer thing. Yep. So this is an AC plug, let's get him in there, see how much he uses. Put him down. What are we up to? Is it on? Let's just double check it's on. Yeah, it's on, it's charging. Yeah, so that's not a lot really either. Wow. Yeah, they are They are all quite low water. Basically, Unless we're getting everything we can find. The, these are products though that we're continuously needing to charge aren't they right. so um we're now going to plug in the laptop surely that's going to take a bit of oh power. i imagine yeah it's just going to take a bit oh yep yeah, it's jumped up okay okay 52 watts 56 50 watts what's this here your vacuum my hoover cleaner. yep my gtac vacuum. so actually that's still quite low it's about sort of in its 40s, I want to say. Let's just make sure that's charging. Yeah, that's charging. Okay. Oh, wow. So it's really not using a lot, is it's it? It's hardly using anything. Um, the only, I found one slight snag with this. Yeah. Um, I need to turn it round to show you. Oh, mind the kettle. <laughs> if I can turn this round. The plug sockets aren't all pointing the right way, look. Oh, yeah. Ideally, it would have been better. To no, I'll be button. honest, uh, the, the G-Tech plug is awkward. And right. obviously your phone one is as well. Oh, no, the um, Karcher. But if you had four normal plugs, they'd all go in yeah. fine. I guess yeah. it's just the appliances we're trying to use at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so let's, uh, well, let's so take that So I'll unplug out. that one, yeah. I want to try the kettle. What, on top of all this? Yeah, you said it won't do it, so <laughs> it might not. It might not, but... Now, this is a strong kettle. I want to say about eight, eight... I say strong, but it's about what? Powerful. Yeah. 1800. Let's try it. I'm guessing. This is very safe, isn't it? Having a scolding up. 1800. Let's see if it will actually boil the kettle. Oh, the fans are kicked in. But. It's really testing it now. Yeah, but it's doing it. It is doing it. It's so at 1804 watts. Yeah. We've got to remember. We have got as phones plugged in. Laptop, which takes quite a bit. As Karcher, 
and now a kettle. Yeah. And that is a powerful kettle. Yeah, it's not a low wattage one. Right, we'll just turn this off for a second and we'll see if it goes all the way. I do like the fact I could have all this running like that for four hours with the battery left on that. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? You know what I'm impressed with? We yeah. would normally get results like this off a 2000, 2400 yeah. watt yeah. machine. Yeah. Um, and this I thought was a, well, it's a 1000 watt hour yeah. machine. Oh, it's done. <laughs> that is no incredible. problem. Now the fans are calmed down. Yep, straight down, look, on the wattage, on the output, look. Unbelievable. That's mad, isn't it? I'll tell you what. I don't think for a second it's going to work, but let's try the microwave. I'll be honest, I think that was the worst product to actually test. Really? That's although, the microwave. Yeah, although the microwave is, what is it, I think it's an 800. Yes, but um, it's not the wattage. No. It's, it's, it it's takes... the amount of power it takes to get it started. It's actually a 700. But it's, it's it yeah, like Dan says, it takes... About 2,000 plus. Yeah. I'm sure it's about 2,500, but we'll try it. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, do not think for a second this is going to work. If it does, I'm going to jump up and down and sing a song. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this can work. So, it's plugged in through an extension. That might affect it. Yeah, that's definitely going to affect it. Let's try it on... It's on max. Try it on medium. 1,150. Brilliant. Medium to high. Oh, you can hear the whirring a bit now, can't you? Put it on high, because that's how I cook. Okay. It's doing it. 1,143. The actual microwave isn't whirring, it's cooking. It's doing it, it normally yeah. whirs, and we have to turn it off because we're scared. Yeah, if we plugged it into an under-chargeable um, one of these, yeah, but that would whir. That is incredible, you, right. can, you can hear, well, it's just gone off now. Yeah, that's to be expected, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> the, the fan came on. Yeah. So it showed on there 1,100 and something watts, but to start a microwave, it takes like 2,000 and something. Yeah. It, it really the same with a, a kettle and a toaster, actually, yeah. so... So, we've just established this will do everything we need it to do. Yeah. It's half the size of the big ones which would do that in the past. Yeah. We can charge it 300 times, did I say? Or 3,000? 3,000 3, 3, times. Yeah. We can charge it in 50 minutes. I want to charge it now, Mazzy. I just want to do a quick test on charging. Yeah. This thing is incredible. Wow, the percentage is actually just flying up. So it's on 12%. It's gone up 1% in about 20 seconds. Yeah. It is going to say in one hour at the moment. Um, it will start showing it in minutes soon, I think, once it's calculated once it's, itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, bringing in 1,218 watts. That's it, mad. And you can actually reduce that. You can use your app and you can turn that up and down to have less watts coming in. To, so it takes longer, but yeah. it's, it's not... I don't know. I don't know what good that would do. But. Do you think on a normal household plug, more powerful than this, it would take quicker? Quite possibly, because this is low amps on campsites. Yeah, it's like 12 amps or something, in so it? Is it 12, 15? 12, 16. Yeah. So whether it would make a difference, I don't know, but... It's gone up 3% since, pretty much since we put this clip on. Yeah. Very impressed. Very good. Let's get it charging. <laughs> 15%. It's just flying, isn't it? I'm absolutely... You know, when, when this came, I thought, let's just turn it off so I can concentrate. When this first came, I thought, oh, it's another power bank, you know. We must have reviewed 20 different power banks. Yeah. But this is special. Mm-hmm. We, yeah. we would expect this, to, for what it's capable of doing, we'd expect it to be the length of this table and up here. Yeah. And weigh 24 And kilograms. we've had them that size for we this have. capacity of what this is able to yeah. do. But this fast charging system EcoFlow has come up with is amazing. 
it's absolutely perfect. It's I don't really know how they can better this apart from more power in even smaller. I don't know, you yeah. know over the years I can imagine they are going to get smaller. Absolutely incredible. One fault we've just discussed, we were trying to think of faults and I said I can't find one. No. I can't find one. No. But Mazzy has, and I agree with this, um, having all the USBs on one side and the ACs on the other side, especially when we want to put it down there, yeah. we have to pull it out to get the, the plugs in the back. Yeah, and then to the control panel on the other side. I mean, that's only our fault for what our, our needs, where, what we yeah, want, where we want needs. to put it. Ideally, um, we'd have liked it all on one side. But yeah. Hey, that's something and nothing. Incredible. Really, really impressed. Product link in the description for anyone who's interested. And I will say now, anybody who's wanting to buy this offers, you're not. It is not for sale. We're keeping this. Thank you. I've already had offers, Mazzy. People, have you? People have been emailing saying, when you've done your review of that, can I buy it off you, please? No. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> that's this a is, life changer for us. This is a yeah. must for us. This is the best we've ever seen yeah well done ecoflow that that is massive pr brilliant product isn't brilliant, it brilliant yeah so as i say link in the description i believe they're selling at the moment for 1099 pounds which as i say this is doing what the 2400 watts were doing two yeah. years ago you can run a van on it basically and it's going to last you over 10 years that we've worked out they were like two, two and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. And this is doing the same job now for yeah, one thousand and ninety nine. And I'm sure that price is going to change. So I shouldn't really say the price in this video, but that's the price as of today. Um I, I think it's just been released today, Mazzy. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. They've asked me to specifically release this video today. Um so it might only just be being released in the UK today. Yeah. Get your orders in. I would. Thank you very much for watching. Come back for more reviews coming up very, very shortly. We love you lots. Bye-bye. Thank you, EcoFly. Thank you.